So thanks for checking out this comic book review. Yes, uh, I like to read horror comics. Well, I just like to read comics in general, but mainly horror because, as you know from this channel that I've been doing, I'm very into horror. So I decided that I wanted to kind of throw in there at least one time just to see how this goes, maybe more, uh, depending if people like it or not, to do some comic book reviews always focusing on horror. Now, it might not be straight up horror, it might be ones with horror elements at times, but this one definitely has some horror to it. And it is the comic book that was first released in 2020. Yes, a very terrible year. Uh, and actually has some themes that ring very true to what's go what was going on and is kind of still going on in the world and in the United States. And that is the comic book, Undiscovered Country. Now this one, uh, I have to give a big shout out to my buddy, Rich Smith, who's my best friend, who hooked me up with this. He is huge into comic books. He has a large comic book collection. And he handed me this and said, read this. I think you're really going to like it, so give it a shot. So it, this is by Image Comics, which I've read a decent amount of Image, and I've liked them in the past. Now, just to give you a very quick small synopsis on this, because I don't want to ruin anything, because I would recommend reading this. It, well, I was going to say, if you're into comic books, but even if you're not into comic books, Check this out. Obviously, this is the trade version, so it's the first six issues of the comic, and from what I know, it is still going on. And also, yes, there is a quote on here from Robert Kirkman, the guy who did uh, The Walking Dead, who says, The next Walking Dead? More like the first undiscovered country. Don't sleep on this book. So I'm sure that sold a lot of copies with that quote, but I would tell you that uh, that aside, it actually is very interesting. So the synopsis is basically, it's it's kind of like a post-apocalyptic type type world where it has been hit with a bunch of pandemics. Now, prior to that happening, it was a situation where the United States just one day sealed itself off from the rest of the world. And I they called that the ceiling in the comic. And so nobody outside the United States had contact. It was nobody gets in, nobody gets out once that day hit of the ceiling. So all the, you know, years have passed, I think decades have passed after that. And it's, it becomes a situation where a bunch of countries kind of band together and there are these kind of groups who are warring factions. And then there's this big pandemic of something called Sky or Blue Sky, I think is what it's called. It's a virus, basically. Now, it is important to note because people will be like, oh, they got that idea from the coronavirus. This was actually started in 2019. So it was being worked on well before it was released in 2020. So, yeah, um, just one of those eerie things that it happened to come out when it did. But anyway, so they, they're trying to solve the virus. Somebody ends up getting a uh, communique basically from within the United States, which nobody has heard from in decades, and saying that there may be a hope for a cure if someone is sent to the United States. So they, you know, all these warring factions kind of band together and put together a group to go to the United States. And on their way there, they get shot down in the United States. And it's all about what they discover there and what they think is there is not what's there. And it's very surprising and it's very interesting. And where it goes in these first six issues is very interesting. And where you can see that it could go uh, seems very interesting as well. Because you may, very well, you may very well get through these first six issues and be like, I have no idea where that's headed. Because uh, there are many paths it could follow. And it's a very intriguing story. So let me give you some more information about this, getting a little bit deeper on it. But that's all I'm going to say story-wise. Because like I said, just read it. Uh, very interesting concept that has a lot of relevance to the pandemic, as I said. Uh, it has a little bit of a Mad Max type vibe to it. I'm not going to say much more than that down that road, but it's got a little bit of a Mad Max type vibe. You might see some other vibes in it as well, but it's definitely horror driven, I will say. action. There's action too. The art panel layout actually does get kind of confusing from time to time. So normally the way it is in comics is it's kind of like, this is your page over here, and it's, you know, you read this panel, read this panel, read this panel, read this panel, and you just go down. Then you go to the next page, read this panel, read this Well, it has ones that'll go across the whole thing, but you can't necessarily tell that there's not a panel break where the page breaks. So it gets confusing because, and they don't always do that. That's the problem. So sometimes it'll be the normal thing, like I was saying of, you know, read this, read this, read this, read this. And then they'll just like throw in there down there, like one that goes all the way across. 
and you don't necessarily realize that. So it gets confusing reading it because they don't keep it consistent. So that's one of my biggest issues with the comic is that they do like weird panel, comic panel layout. So I don't like that about it. I wish they would have kept it a little more standard, but it's a minor issue. Uh, there are quotes about the old U United States and the ceiling from people that they show up in this trade between issues. And I'll show you what I mean. It's, uh, it's always like this red page right here where it says, um, you know, here's a quote from someone, here's a quote from someone. They're always about the ceiling, always about the United States kind of cutting itself off from the rest of the country. And that's just kind of interesting kind of backstory and insight. It makes it feel a little more realistic as in here's what Joe on the street has to say about it. You know, like normal news outlets do. Oh, also just to show you kind of what the artwork looks like a little bit. There's just an idea. Um, it's good artwork. I like it. It works quite well. Um, that's all. I'm, I'm not going to show you too much. I'm not going to show you multiple pages. So, um, The story goes between present and past, and the past portions end up giving a lot of backstory to the characters that you're introduced to, to because it is a lot of characters early on, because the main characters you really need to know are the people who are going on this big expedition. So it keeps... That's the present day for all intents and purposes with reading it. And then they have all these flashbacks where they give you not too much, but just like a little bit about who the character was prior to that. So that works out pretty well. There's an essay in the back of this that I like quite a bit that gives the origin of the project. The project is in this comic book project. Uh, and a lot of insight into the themes that they were aiming to get through the comic. So I think that's really interesting. And if you do pick up the trade version of it, I would definitely recommend you reading it. Because it's very, very cool. Because, you know, they'll always have, like, alternate cover stuff in the back. Obviously, you know, they do that the back of every trade, pretty much. Uh, but this, this is what I was talking about. This, like, the origins right up, which... It's, it's very, very interesting to understand where the story came from, how it was worked through, and the themes that they were really going for. And after you read it, you can see those themes definitely were coming through. The other interesting thing that they have in here is a timeline in the back of all the events leading up to the ceiling of the United States. So that's a lot of fun, too, once again, to give that extra backstory to what's going on, to give you more context for what you've been reading. So I really love those additions to this trade. They did a really good job with it. Uh, a lot deals with division and divisiveness in the story, which plays out in a, a way that is definitely believable, so I like that aspect of it. And for that reason, this comic can take you to some pretty dark places. It's not very, it's not a feel-good comic. Uh, it's got a lot of dark stuff to it. It's got a lot of, at least through the first six issues, hopelessness going on in there but it's super interesting and if you don't mind that stuff which i assume you don't if you're into horror then it's definitely worth checking out so i really enjoy it um i don't know if i should give these star ratings or not i know they do, do that for my movies but i'm just gonna say whether i recommend it or not because i don't feel like i'm like a comic book connoisseur or anything i've read a decent amount but i just don't feel comfortable like giving star ratings because i don't think that would be fair for me so i would just say i recommend this like i highly recommend it it's not just a recommend it's a highly recommend it's very interesting it's very fresh and it has its own thing going on and yeah i like it so uh would love to know people's opinions if you have read this comic any amount of it go ahead and put uh some comments down there and we can talk about it we can do spoilers in the comments um, go ahead, but don't, if you're going to talk spoilers with me, don't go past issue six because I do want to keep reading this. Like that's how much I do enjoy it. I'm very, very intrigued. So go ahead and put spoiler comments, not past issue six though. So I appreciate it. Also, let me know in the comments, are you interested in me doing more comic book reviews? I, and I want them to always be horror or have horror elements to them. And if that is the case, give me some recommendations. What ones do you really want me to cover and review like this? Because uh, I'm pretty open. Uh, I can order them from my local comic shop and make this happen. So, also, do me the quick favor. Hit that subscribe button if you are not already subscribed. If you are, thank you very, very, very much. I really appreciate it. If you aren't, please consider doing that. It literally takes you a second, costs you nothing, is very easy, and it keeps me motivated to make videos like this, which are something new, or my in-depth movie reviews or haul videos or any of that jazz. But 
Oh, also hit the notification bell button if you are subscribed or are going to subscribe, because then you'll know whenever I'm putting up new videos. Regardless, I thank you very much for taking your time to watch this, because I really appreciate that. And until next time, keep it brutal.